What's going on Mummer Fanatics and welcome to my Mummers documentary for 2024, 365 to 432. Join me as I go behind the scenes of all the club's practices and all the other stuff for the preparation of New Year's Day. 10 clubs, one family, but who will be the winner? With me, your host Mikey Cat, will show you what it's like to build a 4 minute and 30 second performance. Austin Sanborn, who is the first year captain of the Downtowners, was elected after the 2023 parade. And Anthony Stagliano Jr. stepped down after seven years of being captain. What does it mean to you being the new captain of Downtowners? Being a new captain of Downtowners means everything to me. Um, it's an awesome feeling. I was so happy that everybody in our club actually chose me to be their leader and chose me to take the spot. Back in the parade, I started when I was one. Uh, my family started right before I was born, and this is my 28th year, so it's a good time to be captain. There's also a new co-captain this year. His name is Michael Yerkow. Took place of Sean Holmes, who was the previous co-captain, and stepped down as well. How does it feel being co-captain this year, the first time? It's pretty good, man. It's exciting stuff. Uh, we got to answer it, you know, first thing this year. Um, a lot of members, uh, a lot of new ideas. So I was in Froggy Car in the early 2000s. Um, put them for like five or six years, and then decided to join the downtowners. My uncle Joey Campbell uh, was a longtime member. Um, I joined in 09, and the rest is history. Their theme concept this year is Day of the Dead, which is a traditional theme that has been done a couple times in the brigades. And what can you tell us about this year's theme? This year's theme is going to be fun, exciting, and a non-stop thriller. Keep going. And what are your expectations for this year as first year captain? Uh, expectations is for the club to be together, have fun, and obviously win the parade. That's what we're going for there. Alright guys, great first drill. Everyone in the drill just worked hard. It was awesome. Um, Dana's only here until 11 o'clock each week, so please make sure you're on time so we can use our time wisely. Um, I know only two groups drilled today. Next week, we're going to start adding groups in. 
So this Wednesday, it will be the same two that have drilled the last two Wednesdays. After that, we'll start adding other groups in. Dana's a little shocked. She's up in 22 groups here today. She's one of her other people. So uh, she's a little nervous. But people that drove out there today, it's a great. Back at the club, we'll discuss all our important business. So everybody, please come back. We have a band from two to kick off. There's a party downstairs. Please do not go through the hall. They're already set up, and they're actually at the start at 1 o'clock. Two o'clock, so we'll be piled in. Please use the upstairs door. Yeah, so that, that's it. Everybody bring it in. We'll do a piece of break. Thank you. One, two, three, DC. Spartans first practice was August 21st, 2023. Third year as captain, Pat Dio, was working hard to pull on a good show in 2024. Hey Mike, uh, well, it's something that we've really worked for and we have never done before. We were uh, going with a little bit more technology. Uh, it's a little bit different. We're doing like, it's kind of like four feet trapped into one. So the choreography for each group is basically what they are. So if they're in the water, they're doing a lot of fish, water, you know, things that are underwater kind of moves. If they're in um, the desert, the savanna, whatever it might be, it could be um, stronger drum movements or like more um, jungle type things. Unfortunately, Miss Dorado, who is a big part of the club, passed away on June 22nd, 2023. How hard and challenging has the year been with losing your pop this year? It's, it's tough. You know, he was always uh, the one that would be around and, you know, give us the, be like the morale booster and, uh, you know, get everybody's spirits up, always, always positive. And that and almost, you know, been in the parade over 50 years, 60 years. Uh, this year is, uh, I got over 40 years watching uh, myself and my own family. You know, we've been on the world march forever, so, you know, it's been a long time. Grotto was uh, the heart and soul of this club. Uh, he was a mentor of mine and you know, loved the club more than anybody. He was always there. It's extremely difficult. So I actually got involved with the parade through uh, the autos because they're my cousins and they formed the club at the start and they asked me if I wanted to be a part of it. And that's kind of how I got my start. So you know, I owe my, uh, my love for the parade to them. It's been tough. We lost it in midway through the year. So, uh... You know, we weren't prepared for it, but uh, we're going to do what we can for this year and see, see how great we can do for it.
you won't be able to see them or you won't be able to come out from the front. Behind it. The boys are on it, right? The back. No, 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 the boys. tomorrow night. Everybody be respectful that day to teach. We'll get through it. Before long, the Arctic's going to start. The finale's going to start. We'll be doing everything from November 1st until January 1st, which we'll do a whole drill over and over again. It's not his birthday today. You know I do this every for everybody that's here. You know, Mr. not here. He's here with the spirit, so we're going to sing happy birthday, Mr. Otto. Are we ready? Down to three. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. Otto. Happy birthday to you. All right, everybody, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. No, I ain't got no little ones here, right? So I gotta do it myself. Are we ready? No, no. Oh, Pat Junior's here. Oh yeah. I never said I wanted to do it. You ready? Spartan! Woo, woo, woo! Great job today, people. Great job today. Thank <laughs> you. 
used to be the opening, but now they're getting old and all out of shape. Like that. Right. So, we'll fast forward to like 50 seconds and let them come out. They're mad. While October is approaching and three months to go until New Year's Day, I went to see Golden Crown to see what they have in store for 2024. It's going to be interesting. We're going a little darker than maybe we would normally do, but, uh, you know, you got to switch it up sometimes. How do you feel about going up third as your position this year? It is what it is, bud. You know, it's a lot of, lot of good clubs, right? So you got to go somewhere. Look forward to the opportunity. Bob Renowski might be the captain of Golden Crown, but there is one former captain who has been the legacy of the club, and that is Bill Burke Jr., who is one of the longest tenured captain in the Fancy Brigade history. He has the record of 28 years as being captain from 1977 to 2004. Wonderful, it was a dream come true. As a kid, I always wanted to be a captain, and uh, I got to do that for 28 years, and it was a pleasure, and I, I love something I'll never forget. And um, what is your favorite theme about the Golden Crown as you being captain? If anybody really knows me, they know it's Cats. Cats is my favorite theme. We didn't win, uh, but I played Deuteronomy, first prize captain. It was one of my favorite themes of all time. You won first prize captain so many times around that time. Yeah, I was very lucky. I, I, again, it was competition with stuff. There was a lot of great captains out there, and I just got lucky. They like you, they like you, they don't, they don't. Yeah. And how far back does you and your family go in the parade? Uh, we go back to the, uh, well, my father was in the parade. He was a page uh, for the fancies. But, uh, and then I, I paraded, people don't know, I paraded a couple of years with Hammond uh, in the 50s. And then I was uh, in uh, Emerald Eagles, King's Men. I went to the Navy and I, I, I paraded with Hog Island, especially mentioned in the Pegasus costume. And then uh, Golden Crown for the last 50 plus years. And what does it mean to you that you have continued a tradition with Golden Crown today? It's something I used to tell the kids when we were kids. I said, when I get old, I want to be Pop Burke sitting around the table and still parade with you guys and hoping that you're still winning and I can be part of that. No, that's good. Thank you for letting me time to talk to you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Golden Crown got third prize last year, and of course this year they picked third as their marching spot. They always been up there for putting on some good shows and always sometimes think outside the box. They are bound to put on a good performance and stay in the top three as long as they put on the right show what the judges want on January 1st. We gotta fix a couple things with that and two eight four eight count. Let's see whatever is going on. Mikey's here at all. I'm not gonna curse this year. That's he right. wants to keep it PG. Ten, four. 
I told you, you're going up third, you got to push it along a little bit quicker, Dale. Good news is, you'll be on second tree drinking beers when they're still playing around in the convention center. If they decide we don't have enough money to keep it open for the whole day, at least we'll be in. This year's choreographer for the Bill McIntyre Shooting Stars is Jacqueline Lee, and she has been working with second-year captain Charlie Kapusniak, and the club is one step away from finishing the drill to the end of the show, but they still have a lot more work to do until they move into the convention center. Uh, this year we're doing Polynesian, uh, base, Moana base, um, a lot of different Moana feels to it, different Moana music, stuff like that. You guys started early back in May. Why don't you tell us the process of starting early this year? Uh, well, we changed choreographers, we made a change, and uh, Jacqueline's schedule was going to be a little bit tight for us to, to just start like we normally do, so we figured we'd get ahead of it. We were prepared, we turned in early, had the suit uh, picked and the music ready to go, so uh, we decided to go ahead with it and get most of it done before uh, she started the other club. And how do you feel going to your second year as captain, like last year as first year captain? Um, I learned a lot, a lot of different challenges uh, that I wasn't ready for. You know, I'm expecting them this year, so I feel confident and looking forward to it. I think we're going to put on a great show. Unfortunately, the Stars were very disappointed in their performance last year, coming in with eighth prize back-to-back -back, and have been considered a powerhouse club with the most first prizes with being 18, and that's what they hope to achieve this year. And what is your favorite shooting star team? My favorite shooting star team of all time is Thunder Drums, 1997. Nah, I like that one too, yeah. And um, what was your favorite Mummers moment of all time? My favorite Mummers moment of all time is, for me, when Mickey Adams uh, announced that he won first prize outside of Froggy Car in 1999. Uh, I started in 1971, was my first year. My dad, my dad went all the way back. He was a page boy back in the 50s, so a long time. What's your favorite shooting star steam? Uh, 1999, the, the Greeks. That was a good one too, yeah. yeah. What's your favorite Mummers moment of all time? Uh, 1992, I think. Uh, Ghouls just want to have fun. It was my first first prize as an adult. That means not going to happen at that point. That was too so we're, she's going to repeat something there. Uh, does everybody know the lines? Everybody want to go over this? Or he's good? Everybody know one and five where they're at? Good? Alright. Take a breather. <laughs> Coming back, 
sliders. Five, six, seven, eight. Just slide them back on your right. Okay? So you're here. One, two, three, four, four and five. Six, seven, eight. Alrighty, all you're doing is you're doing a turn and you're gonna drop your arms. Turn, 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 up. So you're here. Turn, 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 up. So one and two and. Three and four and five and six is getting in the spearmint. So all together, it's here, down, 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 up, 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 boom. It's in a pyramid. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six.
So right here, wherever you are, on this side or on this side, the first two counts are one, two. No matter where you are. One, two, on the right foot. One, two, this way. The Saturnalians have been putting on some great shows for the last couple of years and they placed fourth prize last year in the 2023 parade and they hope to keep on improving themselves year by year and having more wood to hang on the wall. This year, Captain Tommy Doc and the Sats are taking a trip down south to Rio. Everybody came in. Obviously, the more we work on this, the easier things get. We can move on. So groups like ours can take a break. We all need a break. Um, six o'clock. <laughs> six o'clock on Tuesday, unless you're here. Otherwise, obviously, because they're Phillies game. So if we get there at six. We get a nice hour, hour and a half in. I'll tell Jack to just cut it. Somebody can. I'm not staying there until eight thirty. So we got six o'clock. Unless you're here. Otherwise, I'm sure Michael sent a text out to Doc. Please just go back to the meeting at twelve o'clock. So I'm getting my money in, big weekend. We need to get explain all that. I ain't got much else. Let's go, Eagles. Come on, bring it in. Set, two, three, set, two, three, one, two, three. Set.